Hello and welcome to my little Utao tutorial called Let's Make Tato Sing. Now, first let's pretend we can't even see that obvious Utao icon in that corner and pretend we don't even have the program. To get Utao, you open your browser, which I could have done before, and Google Utao download. And someone will point you to that website. Come on. It's called utao2008.xuria.jp. Then you download the most recent version. You see there are two different links. One says version. 0.2.76 install and uh, zip. We want to download the zip version because I'm not sure the install version works. It probably does, but then we download that. That'll take only a short time. And then we get this folder and put it somewhere. Doesn't matter where. Somewhere you can find it again. And you see, there's our program. Let's run it. And it works. See, it comes preloaded with Defocore, Defocore voice bank, and is in Japanese. That's bad, because we can't read Japanese. Let's pretend we can't. And so we go back to our internets and Google Utau. Yeah, I can spell it. English patch. Yeah. And ask the Utah wiki because it's helpful. And download that file. Come on. Yeah. <sighs> download. Yes. And then we get a folder called res. We want to take that folder and put it in the Utau folder we downloaded before. Just put it in there. Then restart the software and you'll see. Ta-da! It's in English. That's nice because now we can read all, what all those buttons do. That's nice. Now, we want to make Tato sing because we like Tato. So, we want to download Tato. Then we head back to the Utao wiki to voice banks from Japan and uh, yeah Tato Kasane <sighs> and there you'll find a link to her voice banks give this a hand this is her official site and there you got a number of voice banks here you get the standard diaphragm only VCV voice bank uh, we want to download this first because those are easier to operate. There's also a VCV in a pen voice bank, a whisper a pen and a whisper a pen in VCV. But we want to download the CV one. Yes. Now, you'd probably download that. I already did that before because I don't want to wait. There we are. Now, there's Tato's voice bank. Now we close Utau and put her voice bank into the voice folder in the Utau, inside the Utau folder. There it is. Now we reopen Utau, go to project, project property, and there is Tato. Nice. <laughs> Tato. Now we need something that Tato can actually sing we need a ust it's something like a vsq if you know what that is it's the same only for utau now where do we find usts we go to utah forum the forum is very helpful good source of information and we go to that one USD, VC, VC, yeah, that one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
there we get a lot of sources where one might find a UST. Let's just start with Utaurini's USDs because they are nice. <laughs> oh yeah, take the coin. <laughs> Download. Yes. Now, when you're using a tower, you're going to need a lot of USTs, so you have to make a UST folder. You probably could put it anywhere, really, but I like to have it inside my Utah folder, so I always know where to find it. Let's put it in there. Even comes with a karaoke version. Which is nice. Uh, down, open. No. That one. We are gonna see the that's the one we want. And we select a voice bank. Let's take a tattoo because we like tattoo. And then we simply select all of this and click play. And then the program should do something. Mm, might take a while. Computer it's busy with other stuff, so yeah, this window will pop up and the program will render. That means it will take the samples that which uh, voice bank consists of and pitch it to the right pitch and the right link, and so it will make it into the song basically. Maybe I got time to explain the difference between CV and VCV. CV is the one we have here. Uh, I suppose is, it stands for consonant vowel. Means we have a syllables like ka, ku, shi means a consonant at the beginning and then a vowel. Now there are other types of voice banks. Uh, most commonly VCV, that's vowel, consonant, vowel which involves recording a string of syllables like a ka sa ta na which would then be cut into a ka a sa a ta a na so the syllables would slide into one another more smoothly and make the voice bang sound more realistic but we are not bothering with that right now we're just waiting for this one to render now you will notice that the UST is in Japanese it's coded in hiragana which is good because Teto's voice bank is also encoded in hiragana Teto can't read romaji or roman letters um, so you can't really use uh, Romaji USTs on a Japanese voice bank, except if uh, the voice bank is alias, which Tattoos isn't. I will show you what I mean in a second once this thing has finished rendering, which always takes a while. Now, maybe I got time to show you my Uta folder. It looks like this, it's a little bit untidy. There are my USTs. Oh, <laughs> nice. Now we on, don't only want to listen to this, we want to keep it. So we go to Project Render Wave File. So select a folder. And then it will render again, and we get to keep the WAV file. Yeah. I'm going to show you another voice bank. It's one of mine. This one. Just wanted to show it to you because while Utane Uta's or Defoco's voice bank is encoded in Hiragana. Uh, looks like this. Uh, this one is coded in. Uh, put this down. Is coded in Romaji, means in Roman letters. So 
we can obviously read this one so project property yeah no close it no we don't want to save it we have the bricks uh project property there she is now we go to tools and voice bank settings here we can see the voice bank settings it's called the auto file what is an auto file it's basically those numbers they are telling the program where to uh, start playing the sample that means where it starts this one where it ends and which part of it is the consonant where the constant goes into the vowel, it's the red one, and this one is the overlap, the green one. This is very important. Once you are starting to make your own voice banks, you're going to have to auto them. But we are not bothering with that right now because I would just want to sh show you these are the file names in Mamaji and these are the alias. This is the a alias. You can input anything really here like this is the r file oh. and this is r in hiragana so the voice bank can read uh, put in something puts in r in hiragana and i can also put in r in omaji and then the voice bank can read both of those. See? Nice. And that's basically it for now. I hope you get that. If you got any more questions, just post comments below. I'm pretty sure I can help you with most of it. So, thank you for listening and yeah, goodbye.